Good evening, this is the Oscar Expert here at the Cannes Film Festival. I'm coming at you with a review for Andrea Arnold's documentary, Cow. Andrea Arnold, short film Oscar winner and director of Fish Tank and American Honey, is departing from what we know her to do and making a documentary that she said was very personal to her. This documentary is a minimalist experiment and it's kind of radical. It is about dairy cows and their life in a factory farm. The movie is a pretty simple set of rules. All the shots are handheld and almost all of them are at eye level with the cows to get you, the human viewer, to empathize with a cow through the transportive power of cinema. And the movie never breaks this style. There's no narration, there's no video footage of cows being turned into beef, and it really just sticks to the perspective of this one cow and also her daughter. The camera work is often rough and jerky, tugged away and forced into places, very much like the cows at hand. On a technical level, this was really well done. The coloring looks really good and the sound design was really clear and crisp and immersive. And you're also given this haunting diegetic soundtrack where the farm seems to be playing some pop music over the speakers and it has all like this reverb and it's echoing all over the cold interior. A very strange quality that I think the sound designers definitely played into. There is human presence in the film, but it completely avoids adopting their perspective. You barely even get to make out people's faces. They're either cut off or blurry or at a distance. Because again, the movie is really trying to just keep you in line with these cows. I wonder if the farm that let the crew film here would have even agreed to this movie if they knew that the final product was going to be like this. The cows live in a dark, dirty, cramped industrial space, and the main cow in the film gets impregnated again and again so the humans can suck her milk out of her with a machine. The milk is not intended for the cows that she gives birth to, no, no. The baby cows are taken away shortly after she gives birth to them because they are, like all cows, commodities. These cows are essentially prisoners locked up against their will in a farm and their reproductive system is abused for profit. And their emotions are abused as well. The cow is often in distressing situations. And as a viewer of this movie, you're just asked to try and empathize with the cow that is the subject of the film. Some people are probably gonna be bored and not see the value in it just because it's very different and it's very challenging. There were actually walkouts during this movie. It wasn't the majority of people, but there were maybe a couple dozen people who left the theater and didn't come back. I think a lot of people are not gonna be ready for what this movie has to offer. The movie is feeding you just the idea that cows could be a subject of a movie. The reality is that cows experience emotions just like any other living mammal. And some people aren't gonna like that because it will draw them towards certain conclusions that might make them reconsider their diet. And although the cows are pretty continuously experiencing distress throughout this movie, the one time they experience joy is when they're allowed free range time. And it's kind of beautiful when all the cows run out with excitement to enjoy some grazing and relaxation. The movie even kind of asks you, do cows appreciate nature in the same way where it'll have like this shot where you're kind of looking at the cow from the side and it seems like the cow is just enjoying the peace of a sunset. Another sort of emotion that we're shown from the cows is how they feel anxious and distressed when they're separated from their children. And the humans in the film are saying like, oh, you know, she's just getting attached, like as if she's not supposed to do that. It's literally kind of the most basic thing about the nature of any animal is that when they have a child, they're supposed to be attached to it. I mean, maybe there are some fucking fish that that don't have that, but, but cows certainly do. It's all kind of radical in a way because we're trained not to empathize with cows the same way we would with other humans or even cats and dogs. And if you watch this movie properly and actually kind of absorb the experience of this cow, you might come out questioning if you should be eating dairy or milk. And I can tell a lot of you are already like, so you're telling me that you're recommending me watch a movie that's gonna make me feel bad about eating ice cream? And look, I don't actually think that this movie is gonna turn anyone vegan instantly necessarily, but it might plant a seed in your head or it might give you the idea and you can choose to ignore it if you want to. I mean, the movie is just what you project on it after all. But just because the movie is questioning something that is fundamental to your daily life or the culture surrounding you, doesn't mean that you should back away from the movie or be afraid of it. I think that that's actually something that should make you want to run towards the movie. That's what cinema's for, is it not? Just for challenging you, giving you new experiences that challenge your worldview. I mean, the ideas and the truths in this movie are really, really basic at the end of the day, like the, the fact that cows 
have feelings and they don't like being locked up and they don't like being abused for their milk and they don't like being branded. Like it's very basic. And yet the movie's radical because of the world we live in where this is all very normal. If there's any flaw I have with the movie, it's that even though it's only 93 minutes, towards the end, I was maybe a little bit exhausted with the experience where I wasn't feeling like it was feeding me any new ideas, but the end is impactful and that's probably the only real flaw I can think of. I think it is inevitable that the conversation around veganism is going to be tied to this movie and it should be because that's kind of the conclusion that you come to if you're able to empathize with the movie. Some people might even not take away that and they'll say like, you know, it's just the act of empathizing with another creature who we never would have and that being a deep profound experience. That's also something we can take away from the movie, especially just the fact that humans are always the ones determining which animals are worthy and which are not by our standards. But the reason that you should see this movie is not just like so that you can go vegan or whatever, it's so that you can experience something new and challenging and purely cinematic because cinema is an empathy machine, as they say. And so this movie is just pure cinema. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm giving this a nine out of 10. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Do you know any cows?